Josh DiStefano here, and today we're going to talk about how to add some chromaticism to your solos. So why do we want to add chromatics to our playing? Because they are the spice, they are the fire. That takes us from the norm, the sort of standard, whatever scale or sound we're establishing, and it's going to inject it with a little bit of, with a little bit of heat. A little bit of hot sauce. You're going to sprinkle this on there and you're going to light people's ears on fire. So the first thing we're going to talk about is what is the chromatic scale. It's quite simply every note. It just, just goes on and on and on. no beginning and no end because it's completely symmetrical. The only way it can be grounded at all is, is by whatever harmony you happen to be playing because it, it just it's infinite. It just goes on and on until you run out of notes which makes it real easy to jump on the chromatic train uh, but a much harder to get off. You have to have an arrival point. Know where you're going and then boom you land on a chord tone and, and you've escaped. Because it incorporates every note in the instrument, it's a great thing to use if you find yourself lost in the changes. Just start riding that chromatic scale until you hit a note that sounds right, then jump off and recollect yourself and dive back in. So now that we know what the chromatic sound is, let's talk about how do we add it into our plane. So you have a simple motif that you're developing. Remember, solos are all about developing motif. Something like that. The first thing you can do is you can add it in the front. Or, or from above. You can also add it at the end. You can even put it somewhere in the middle. Something like that. And you can encapsulate things. So, or all different ways you can add chromatics into your basic idea as you're developing it. Then, of course, you can use sequences. The great thing about the chromatics is it's, everything is fair game. So, if you have this idea built on perfect, perfect force, you can just move it around anywhere you want it. as far as you want, or you could do something in thirds. It's pretty much the sky is the limit. You just use it and then you jump off when you get where you want to get. Incorporate it into your ideas or use it as a device for moving up and down the range of the instrument. And that's, that's all you have to do to incorporate some chromatics into your ideas, into your solos. But remember, um, building solos is all about developing ideas and playing with conviction. So whatever your ideas are, play them with good time, play them with confidence. And then if you start peppering in some spicy chromatics, it's going to blow people's minds. They're going to think, wow, that's awesome. But at the same time, if you come straight out of the box and you're... going to be a little overwhelming and people are going to say, wow, that really sounds bad. Or maybe if they're a little bit more uh, diplomatic, they might say something like, that was very jazzy. So use with caution, but use. Use the chromatics. Add them into your plane. I think you'll find it's a great way to take your soloing up to the next level. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please think about subscribing, and I will see you next time.